In order for the timer to work properly, you should place a piece of reflective material 50 to 60 centimeters uh, in front of the sensor, eventually using one of the 3D printed stands, which you can find on our GitHub page, just like this. When we load the web page of the competition timer, uh, we'll be able to choose uh, the competition type. The line following and line following with obstacle avoidance competitions consist of two laps and the maze solving and robot teleoperation are single lap competitions. So the timer will uh, proceed accordingly. In this case, we'll use the line following type competition, which actually will show two laps and choose the best lap. Uh, when we click the start new round, uh, we'll see this green message, which if you show this on a screen or on a projector, the competitors will see, competitors, sorry. And also on uh, the timer itself, the green LED is lit on so they can see that it is okay for them to start their robot. Now I'll simulate the robot passing through uh, the beam of the competition timer with my hand. So here we started the first lap by passing over and if you saw the red LED lit on temporarily, which means that uh, there was a delay for uh, the timer to let the robot to pass through without detecting it again. So now uh, the green light is on again, which means that the timer is ready to detect the robot for the second time. If I simulate the robot, uh, you see that lap 2 is uh, uh, going on and again we get the green light, which means that the timer is ready to uh, get the final pass through of the robot. Now I'll simulate that and on screen you see that you have the final time, total time and the best lap time between the two laps. So this was in short how to use the timer itself. You click start new round, then the robot passes through a number of times and you get the time in the beginning for each lap and then the final time was the best lap time. In order to use the automatic Excel spreadsheet, automatic uh, scoreboard Excel spreadsheet, you can go to our uh, GitHub account, which is github.com slash nitroclubs. And there you'll find the repository code Nitro Competition Timer. When you go to the repository itself, uh, you can see the files for 3D printing uh, of the parts, the data file, which is uh, actually the index.html, the JavaScript images and CSS for the web page, the source code of the timer, and there is a Nitro Competition Scoreboard XLM file. Uh, this is uh, actually uh, the Excel file uh, which has a Visual Basic for application, a VBA application embedded, which makes uh, or creates the automatic scoreboard. In order to download it, if you are not experienced uh, with uh, experienced with GitHub, you can click here on code and download a zip. And in the zip file you download, you'll be able to find uh, the Excel file plus, of course, all the code and the files. And uh, now let me show you how to use the scoreboard, automatic scoreboard. When you extract the zip file, uh, there is uh, the Excel XLSM file. Uh, this is a template, that's why 
you should make a copy paste and rename it to whatever competition uh, you are on uh, we'll put here test in this case and then we open this copy of the original when you open the file because it can it has uh, embedded VBA code Excel uh, gives you security word if you uh, want to enable content which means enable the program which is written in Excel VBA you should click enable content and this will let you work with the file and use the code behind here you have pre-made names for uh, 25 teams but actually when you click on it you can change uh, the name of the teams and let's name it team A and team B will leave the rest as they are so now we have two teams uh, actually we have 25 teams but we have two teams which we named which let's say uh, are um, competing in our competition then we go to the type of competition we are on in this case line following and we should place data in the yellow uh, areas in the first one we choose the team name for which we will paste uh, the result so let's say this is team A then we'll go back to our uh, final result and the best lap time and here we can enter penalty points if any in our case let's say that this team has one penalty point and then we should click copy result to clipboard button and this will copy this result plus the number of penalty points then we go back to the excel spreadsheet and in this on the first row in this yellow area we'll click paste and when we click paste as you see um, the excel vba code behind spreads uh, the pasted value into total time penalty points and best lap time so let us simulate another team uh, going through the competition with our timer going back to the web page of our competition timer we'll start a new round and i'll simulate uh, faster uh, times for the next team so look at the lights on the timer so this team has this result uh, there are zero penalty points so i'll not put anything in this field and i'll copy the result to the clipboard then i'll go back to the excel file i'll choose team b to be the second team and i'll paste the result from the clipboard uh, in the yellow area and as you see the uh, excel behind the excel code behind actually uh, move team b to the first position as the time is shorter and there are no penalty points in this case so this is the way uh, this automatic scoreboard sheet works so as many results you put in teams down below it will automatically uh, make the scoreboard for you without any other interaction so pretty much that is it how to use our uh, competition timer and the excel scoreboard sheet